Hello, um, here's how to set up a cabinet like this. It's a bit tricky. Um, here we have a cabinet uh, with a vertical division. If I look at it in wireframe, we can see there's a vertical panel here, which is not full depth. Um, on this vertical panel, it's uh, actually passing through the shelf here. So it's cutting a groove into this shelf, cutting a, a, making a cutout into the shelf. And on the front here, we have a solid wood part, which is um, a f sort of a face frame. So if we have a look at it, it's like this. See this? Um, this is the, the um, let's have a look at the exploded view. It should be clearer. And if we make the exploded view far apart, we can see that it's uh, the different parts of this cabinet. So there's a box, a solid vertical part is cutting out a sort of a, notch in the shelf and the face frame element here to start the cabinet I'm going to just, just get rid of everything and we we'll start from just the box shape that's it uh, it's just when a panel is cut by another panel you have to put in the 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 panel is going to be notched first so for instance I would put in here a shelf okay and then I would put in for instance in the top here let's put in or the bottom let's put in an upright okay now if I take this upright and I groove it into my shelf so I put a let's just put it into English so this upright if I groove it into my shelf and then I can put that groove as a depth of four four one four I think so like see I'm just taking the distance here the extended distance plus 19 which is the thickness of my shelf and I and extending it up to the top here and you see that the shelf is actually cut into two by this groove now but if the shelf is set back from the back so let's recess it from say 230 from the back the the groove follows the shelf the notch it's not really a groove shall we say, it's, a, it's more of a notch here. it's a cutout in in the shelf is following the width of that panel which is cool that is really cool so that that makes that really cool way of doing that particular type of assembly it's sort of a cutout with a groove but this particular example has got a bit of a, a complication in it. it's got a front frame and I will need to put a front frame on if I put a front frame directly on this I can use a, a, a panel structures and I can put a frame vertical division centered apply vertical see so the diff the problem here we have applied a, a structure to it so we've actually got our face frame applied to it um, but the dip problem is that the groove here as well as I've, I've, I've inadvertently added a, a panel, um, a handle to it, but it doesn't matter. Um, the groove, the problem here is that the groove is actually the width, the total width of the panel, which is the total width of the face frame element that is uh, being applied to that panel, that structure. So that's not a good way to do it. So the idea here is that we have to prepare our cabinet a bit before. So. Let's get what we do is we get rid of our elements and we put in a double back first. So I click here, thickness of my double back, thickness of my face frame. Sorry. Now, now this now I'm not going to work. So this is going to leave me the space of the face frame. On the back here, I'm going to put my shelf, and then I'm going to put my upright. That upright I'm going to set from the back the distance I want it, so let's put 230. I'm going to create into the shelf a groove. The groove is going to give me 41, uh, I think it's 416, so, so push that frame up, that vertical panel up through that shelf, create the notch so it reaches the other panel. And now, in the distance, in the virtual space I've created in front here, you buy the false double back, which is a nil panel. If I click right here, and I add another upright. So I've got a separate upright in the middle here. And this upright is the standard upright um, material. But if I change that upright material to a thicker material, for instance, if I add it to wood, which is, if I create that wood at 
40 millimeters thick, then we're actually getting a face frame effect on it with that solid wood element, which is actually a panel which is thicker than, it is than the width, in fact. But we're getting that solid, solid wood element in our in our box and as, as a cut in our cutting list. So that's the way. One of the ways you can set up the correct so you get the correct cutting lists for this type of assembly detail.